Hello, today we are going to install XRDP RDP server in a Fedora 40 Beta KDE installation. So these are the changes proposed for KDE Plasma 6. There's a lot of talk about um, dropping the X11 session for KDE Plasma 6. And in here we can find out the name of the packages. So there's a RPM package plasma minus workspace minus X11, another one plasma minus workspace minus Wayland, and um, two RPM packages for Kwin, Kwin minus X11 and Kwin minus Wayland. Let's go to my wiki and see how we need to install XRDP on Fedora. These are the instructions. Okay, so I have a virtual machine. I have installed Fedora 40 Beta KD. This is it. So the big difference between uh, Fedora 40 and Fedora 39 is that this package is no longer installed. Um, Plasma Workspace X11 RPM is no longer installed, which we will need to install in addition to the rest of the procedure that I follow when I install a Linux operating system in a QME virtual machine and then I install the RDP server XRDP in that virtual machine. Okay, so first of all I need to use the virtualization software in order to enable the SSH server. It's uh, logging into KD Plasma for the first time as this user. So let's become super user and enable the SSH the system D service. System CTL enable now SSHD and from now on I will no longer use the virtualization software so I can log out and I only really want to know from the virtualization software the IPv4 address that was assigned via DHCP to the virtual machine which is ending in 58. Okay let's connect via SSH always forget 58. Yes, so we're now logged in via SSH. We can install additional packages. We can become super user. We can resize the terminal as we want. Copy paste of text works. I usually install these packages at this moment. So git the version control, emacs noax a text editor for the command line and mc the midnight commander text user interface file manager. Okay, then I proceed to install the RDP server. 
on my wiki and mariusp.github.io the first link there how to install xrdp in here we find the chapter about fedora so this is the new trick it downloads the metadata the list of available rpm packages in the fedora repositories that are enabled on this installation it's installing kwin x11 plasma workspace x11 xorg x11 x server xorg xorg x11 lib input and uh, LibreOffice X11, whatever that is. Okay. This was the previous procedure that worked on Fedora 38.39. And this is the additional step. We're installing the XORG and XORG XRDP RPM packages. I always install them both. Similarly to the OpenSSH server RPM, after you install the RPM, the system this service is not started by default, not enabled by default. So we will need to do that for the XRDP system this service. But first, we need to edit this configuration file, which unfortunately is wrong. I'm not sure why on Fedora I need to edit the configuration file. It would be better if the configuration file would already be correct. Okay, so we need to find this is a INI style file, has sections. We're going to need to find this section between square parentheses xorg. It's at the end of the file in here so delete all of the comments pound hash signs this is the entire section starts at the section header and then the values in the section let's save uh, we can exit ctrl x save modified buffer y and enter next up we enable the XRDP system, the service. And let's see if it works. Username is administrator, the width height for 1080p resolution, the IP address ends in 58, uh, the best possible RDP protocol features, so video, RFX, GFX, best speed network LAN, dynamic resolution such that I can resize the RDP client and that will tell KD Plasma to resize, to change the resolution in the virtual machine, and forwarding of sound from the virtual machine towards the host. I agree to trust the self-signed -cert certificate. And the splash screen for KD Plasma 6. And we're now logged into the virtual machine using RDP. There are many advantages to using the RDP connection versus using the virtualization software. So I never do this i always do this i can connect remotely from another machine to the virtual machine not only from the host machine that hosts a virtual machine i can resize the window freely 
copy paste of text works. The performance of uh, it, it's very, very snappy. The RDP connection, YouTube works correctly, A video work co works correctly. I can, for instance, not ever start the web browser in the virtual machine if I want. It can just work like this side by side on the half right half of the screen, have the web browser running on the RDP client machine, on the RDP on the host machine and use the in the left half of the screen the virtual machine. This way I can have a virtual machine with very little amount of RAM because most of the RAM will be taken either by the um, web browser, Firefox in this case, in the virtual machine, or by intensive tasks such as compilations on multiple threads. So this was it. The new change that's required by Fedora 40 when installing the XRDP, XORG XRDP server inside of a virtual machine and not only. So in general, installing the RDP server XRDP, XORG XRDP inside of an installation of Fedora 40. In this case, for Fedora KD Spin 40 Beta. Thank you.